The chart's option on Pilatus PC-12 NG aircraft equipped with Primus Apex displays gives the pilot the ability to view Jeppesen terminal charts directly on the MFD. To access charts, select the chart's soft key or push the bezel button on the side of the map display. If the option for second charts is installed, charts can also be displayed by pushing the chart video button on the multifunction controller. In pre-departure clearance mode, charts cannot be accessed on the lower MFD unless the option for second charts is installed. The option for second charts also adds redundancy in the event of an AGM failure. During reversionary mode, charts are still available from the other AGM. When charts are selected using the Chart Video button, they will be shown on the lower MFD. When charts are selected using the Charts Soft Key or the Bezel button on the upper MFD, the iNav map will be replaced with charts. When accessing the Charts function for the first time after power-up, the Revision Info window is displayed. The Revision Info window provides a general idea of the regions covered by the current Charts database. If the Charts database is out of date, a warning message will be displayed. Below the coverage map are the serial number and access code fields. A serial number is issued to each subscriber and determines the region of chart coverage for the subscription. If additional or temporary access for a particular geographical region is needed, an access code can be requested from INDS. INDS is a collaboration between Honeywell and Jefferson. After serial numbers and access codes have been entered and verified, close the revision info window to return to the main chart window. The chart tabs are used to access the various types of charts that can be displayed. If a chart category is not available for the selected airport, the associated tab is grayed out. The Airport Selection drop-down menu contains the origin, destination, and alternate airports from the FMS flight plan. To select a chart, click on the appropriate chart tab. This will display the first chart in the selected category. The chart title bar displays the name of the chart currently selected. If the category of chart selected has multiple options, a drop-down menu can be accessed to select the desired chart. Any procedures in the active flight plan are displayed first, followed by the rest of the available charts. Only the chart name, index number, and geo-referenced icon are displayed in the chart title drop-down menu. Other identifying characteristics, such as the revision date and effective date, are displayed on the chart. When there are more results that can be shown in a window, a scroll bar will be displayed. Use the MFC or CCD to scroll through the list. Click on the chart title to display the chart on the MFD. To view charts for an airport that is not part of your active flight plan, click on Search Airport in the Airport drop-down menu. Airports can be searched for by the ICAO identifier, airport name, or by city or country. Any airport that fits the entered search criteria is displayed in the Search Results window. Select an airport from the list to display the charts for that airport. When an airport is selected, the airport identifier is displayed in the upper left corner, followed by the Chart tab bar. Charts from the airport search can now be reviewed. Accessing charts using the Search Airport function does not change the airports in the active flight plan. There are several chart functions that can change how a chart is displayed. Once a chart has been selected, scroll the chart display by using the scroll bars at the edge of the screen. To access the scroll bars, move the cursor to the edge of the chart. Push the MFC or CCD Enter button when the cursor is on the scroll bar to scroll the map in the direction indicated by the pointer. Zoom in or out of the chart using the Data Set knob or the scroll wheel on the CCD. Pushing the MFC or CCD Enter button when the cursor is on a chart displays the Chart Task menu. 
The Chart Task menu allows the pilot to choose how the selected chart is displayed on the MFD. The chart display can be centered, fit to screen, split, or rotated. To center the chart on a place of interest, place the cursor on the desired location on the chart, push the Enter button on the MFC or CCD, and select Center Chart. The Center Aircraft function centers the aircraft on the display. The chart display can be rotated using the Rotate button. When available, selecting Aircraft displays the actual location of the aircraft in relation to the chart. To view the aircraft location on a chart, the selected chart must be geo-referenced. Geo-referenced charts are indicated by an aircraft symbol displayed in the chart title bar. When the chart is included in the active flight plan, the aircraft symbol is green, otherwise it is white. This feature greatly increases situational awareness both in the air and on the ground and can be used with other cockpit indications to quickly determine the aircraft's position. During an approach or any other critical phase of flight, it may be more convenient to view charts on the upper MFD as it is closer to the scan of the primary instruments. If charts are displayed on the lower MFD, push the MFD swap button on the MFC to move the charts to the upper MFD along with the system's information. The iNav map and flight plan will now be displayed on the lower MFD so that charts can be viewed simultaneously with the iNav map for optimal situational awareness. While flying an approach, the split function can be used to display the plan view of the chart along with the header section, profile view, or minimum section. To split the view of a chart, click on Split and choose between the Header, Profile, or Minima Views. The Charts feature on the Primus Apex display is a convenient way to quickly access terminal charts and can help reduce cockpit clutter while providing increased situational awareness both on the ground and in flight.